What's up, YouTube? I'm tapping in, guys. Listen, man, I wanted to make sure that I touch base with the family on tonight in preparation for tomorrow, guys. Listen, overall, we had a crazy, crazy, massive sell-off today. And so listen to this, guys. Typically, a sell-off like that, they try to give a relief rally either the next day or the following day. So I want you guys to be on the lookout, okay? It doesn't mean it's gonna be a, a long sustained run or rally, but nevertheless, I want you to at least kind of somewhat get your mind around, man, we went down so much today that they may give us a little bit of that back tomorrow, if not the following day, okay? So just be on the lookout for that for me as I kick this video off, giving you exactly what you need to know to look out for for these upcoming days, okay? Check it out. Microsoft were able to report a beat, okay? They did decent. The stock took a little bit of time to react to it, but now it's starting to finally move up a little bit. So that's a good sign for the market. But guess what? Google didn't do so well. And so that's two big, massive, large cap stocks, companies, if you will. One performed good, one didn't. They'll probably cancel each other out. And so if nothing else, we're going to have all eyes on Apple to see how they do. And how they do could be the one catalyst that we got left that can potentially lift the market, okay? So be on the lookout for that tomorrow as they will get a chance to report coming up on Thursday, okay? But all of that factored in. So tomorrow, guys, you can have a continuation or you can have a relief rally start to the progress of it. And then guys, they can kind of continue from there. Do me that favor, okay? Now guys, I wanna love on those of you that did your thing on today. Again, guys, I've been trying to tell you with investing, at least with me, there's a two-pronged approach. You guys know I'm buy and hold long-term investor. That's one end. But guys, there's nothing really complex about that. You buy quality stocks, you buy quality companies that you know, like, and love, and then you hold them for the long term. That's primarily how I built my wealth, guys. Got Tesla, got Apple, got all that stuff, and I just hold it for 10 years, okay? And now it's them grew substantially. Even in this pullback, it's still done fairly well. But then lateral to that, what I like to teach you guys is how to trade, how to swing trade, how to do options. And that is what we kind of come on here and do each and every day, okay? So again, a lot of our plays that we're in, although I'm holding them long-term, I also will trade them. And that brings me to my point that I wanna discuss with you guys today. Major salute to each and every one of you that did your thing, making money on the way down with stocks by buying puts, okay? Major salute. I couldn't be more proud of you guys that are taking advantage and listening intently to when I tell you the trend is your friend. The trend is your friend, and today the trend was going down. So all you had to do was do, ride our puts that we maybe talk about in the Discord, that we definitely have been in as far as our weekly options are concerned, and boom. You should be making money. You did make money. And that's how the game goes, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. There's going to be a whole bunch of people trying to sound deep, trying to sound smart, trying to do too much. Guys, simplify the game. We call it KISS, man. Keep it simple, okay? That's all you got to do, guys. Keep the game simple. Take what they give you. If they're going down, ride the market down. If it's an update and we finally see a little green, ride it up. Be strategic, get in and get out. Don't be greedy, don't overstay your welcome. Listen guys, we got our options coaching for beginners on tomorrow and I'm looking forward to that. So again, I'll try to drop a video prior to the class starting and then maybe if I got time, I'll circle back later on in that night. But my Wednesdays will be pretty jam packed. But nevertheless guys, it's a chance for you all to learn, to get a more definitely a deeper understanding of the concepts and how options work and what to look out for, how to set your charts up so that you can increase your success rate with options. Guys, yes, it's a risky game and it's even more risky when you don't know what you're doing. Matter of fact, it can feel somewhat like gambling. But when you get a firm understanding, guys, when you have a, a trading style, a trading philosophy, Guys, it's a beautiful thing. I'm not telling you guys to get in and get out for no reason. I'm not saying don't overstay your welcome for no reason. 
if you hear that, you should eventually start letting it seep in. Chris is not holding long at all. Guys, I'm in and out of these plays, in and out like clockwork. I jump in, I'm out when I'm up 10%, 15%, boom. Taking my money and run, I run it back, rinse and repeat that process. I'll do two or three trades, sometimes four or five in a day, make my money and I'm out. Matter of fact, my stocks were down today, but my options were up today. That's the kind of contrast you can have with this type of market, okay? But nevertheless, you don't have to sit idle and just let your portfolio go down, down, down. You can be making strategic moves because all I'm gonna do is take the option money and then buy more of my, my, my long-term stocks, okay? More VTI, more Apple if it dips, more Tesla if it dips further, more Nvidia, okay? Because guys, one to three years from now, and even if it's a little longer than that, these plays will be, should be substantially higher. And I can count on that. The stock market ain't let me down in the 12 years I've been doing it. And it ain't let the people that's been doing it before me down in the 50 plus years they've been doing it, okay? And so that's what you guys can come to expect when you are dealing with the stock market, guys. Listen, up next, we have our word of the day. And our word of the day is average cost. Listen, guys, in the stock market, you will have established an average cost based on when you buy and what price you buy your stocks at, okay? And that initial first price that you get, okay? So if you buy a stock at 1950 and you buy five shares out of the gate, you're gonna set the standard and establish your average cost is at 1950. So if you buy higher, then $19.50 on your next purchase, you would be raising your average cost. If you buy lower than your average cost, the next time you buy, say you originally bought a $19.50, now the stock is $19.10, you would be lowering your average cost, okay? Average cost is nothing more than the price that you have originally bought your stock set and a culmination of what the average price is after you have dollar cost average and nipple, and now you have an uh, average of what your whole total cost is, guys. Again, it's something to be mindful of, but something that I don't want you guys to let it hold you hostage. Sometimes people will get a low average cost and then they don't wanna buy more shares because they don't wanna raise their average cost. That's not what you wanna do. I always talk about dollar cost averaging and that's just buying stocks at certain prices until you get the average and it makes out to be the best price overall. And that's why we do that so that you can still get and accumulate more shares of that particular company so that when the run up finally do happens, you are getting a great return on your investment, guys. So listen, man, average cost is our word of the day. It's nothing more than, like I say, the average cost that your stocks have been established at, meaning the initial price you might've bought and then the most recent prices you might have bought your stocks at and you throw them all together and that average cost is what that comes out to be, guys. Don't let it hold you hostage, but always be mindful of it. Matter of fact, you can use it as a barometer to where you set your stock loss. So if you buy a stock at $19 and the stock shoots up to $32, you might have your stop loss at, if this stock comes back to $20 and I didn't take full profit at uh, $32, I'll get it at 20 and it's still not ever having reached the 19 in which where you bought it at, guys, okay? So listen, that's our word of the day, man. I hope that was helpful. Listen, guys, we make videos like this every day, so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.